But you know, I was in air conditioning thing when I got there. And that's right. No, 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 no. I, I can't be bothered. Uh -oh. Yesterday I didn't go anywhere. I I woke up though. I was so tired. And it had some rain yesterday. Yes, and it was yeah. so tired. And then I wanted to go somewhere, but I said, no, I'm not going to go this. I, I, oh, I, okay. get some rest. I was so tired, like mentally, emotionally, physically, like those type, type of tired. And it went out and zap you too. That's right. That's right. I, I, I don't like to take, no, 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 no. I, I just, no, no, it's like a relax. I, rest. I like I, to do what I want to do. That's right. So. I know I'm feeling like I can have the watermelon. The other day I went to um to the marketplace here and I get two. So I finish all of them. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So um I feel like I can maybe run. That's maybe the only thing that I can go and get. Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay, that, I just... And just come home. Because I just pick in front here and just go. I don't go inside if I want to go home. I just pick the outside and just I just can't, I just can't. Uh -uh. That's why. Oh, yeah. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Oh, we could be random in the world. Let's yeah. start. Let's start. <clears throat> whoever goes to the Lord for safety, whoever remains under the protection of the Almighty, can say to him, You are my defender and protector. You are my God in you I trust. He will keep you safe from all hidden dangers and from all deadly diseases. He will cover you with his wings. You will be safe in his care. His faithfulness will protect and defend you. You need not fear any dangers at night or sudden attacks during the day or the plagues that strike in the dark or the evil that kill in daylight. A thousand may fall dead beside you, 10,000 all around you, but you will not be harmed. You will look and see how the wicked are punished. You have made the Lord your defender, the most high, your protector. And so no disaster will strike you. No violence will come near your home. God will put his angels in charge of you to protect you wherever you go. They will hold you up with your hands to keep you from hurting your feet on the stones. You will trample down lions and snakes, fierce lions and poisonous snakes. God says, I will save those who love me and will protect those who acknowledge me as Lord. When they call to me, I will answer them. When they are in trouble, I will be with them. I will rescue them and honor them. I will reward them with long life. I will save them. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Bless your holy name, Father God. Father God, thank you, Lord, Father God, for waking us up this morning, each and every one on this platform, Lord. We give you all the praise, all the honor, all the glory, because all belongs to you. Father God, we couldn't do it on our own, Lord, Father God. Thank you for that agape love you have for us, Lord. We bless your holy name, Lord, for taking us through last night to this morning. Many didn't get up this morning, Lord. I bless your holy name. Father God, this morning we bring Pastor Pono before you. Father God, your servant, Lord, Father God. Father God, we ask you, Lord, to keep her under the shadow of the Almighty. Mm -hmm. Father God, keep her the apple of your eyes, Lord, Father God. Keep her in the hollow of your hand. Father God, you know your servant, Lord, Father God. Father God, any mountain in her way, Lord, Father God, we ask you to remove it, Lord. Any crooked road, Father God, we ask you to make it straight, Lord, Father God. Father God, touch her from the top of her head to the sole of her feet, Lord. Saturate her in your blood, Lord. Father God, we bless your holy name, Lord, Father God. Father God, you know what best for her, Lord, Father God. Father God, strengthen her wherever she is weak. Give her more knowledge, wisdom, and understanding, Lord, Father God. We bless your holy name, Lord, Father God. We thank you for her, Lord. Father God, this morning we bring her daughter before you, Onana. I bring my brother before you, Lord, Father God. Her extended family, each and every one of them, Lord, Father God. Father God, you know and you see all things, Lord, Father God. Father God, we ask you to, anyone with hardened hearts, Lord, we ask you to soften it, Lord, Father God. Father God, because we know that we know without you, we are nothing. Father God, do a work in each and every one of them, Lord, Father God. Father God, when we look around and we see what's going on in the world, Lord, Father God, mm -hmm. we know 
Your redemption shall draw it nigh, Lord, Father God. Father God, do a work with them. Bless them, strengthen them. Father God, give them dreams, give them vision. Father God, you know exactly what to do, Lord, Father God. But we are still asking you, Lord, Father God, because you are God. Father God, you know each and every one of them heart. And if it's your will, Father God, give it to them. We bless your holy name, Father God. Thank you for each and every one of them. Father God, I bring my family close those that are far, which is my extended nieces, nephews, siblings, Lord, Father God. I bring Carlton and his family, Lord. I bring Daryl and his family, Lord. Father God, each and every one of them. Father God, this morning, I ask you, Lord, to be with Kevin's family this morning. Father God, you see what went on in the mall yesterday with him. No longer with us, Lord. Father God, strengthen his mother, his brothers, Lord Father God. Father God, be with that family, Lord Father God. It was tragic, Lord. Father God, do something, Lord Father God. Father God, but you left a blueprint for us, Lord, and you tell us if we harden our heart, Lord Father God. If we turn to you, turn from the wicked ways, Father God, you will heal our land, Lord Father God. But not doing that, Lord, Father God. Father God, be with that family this morning, Lord. We bless your holy name, Lord. And he's the one that used to take care of his mother, Lord. And she's in a wheelchair, Lord, Father God. Father God, be with her this morning. We bless your holy name. You are God and you know you see all things, Lord. Father God. We bless your holy name, Lord. Father God, we bring all these sick before you this morning, those that are in prison, Lord, in the nursing home, in the hospital, at home, Lord, Father God. Father God, doctor diagnosed, but you are the healer, Lord. Send your healing angel, Lord, Father God. Father God, and those that don't know you, Father God, we pray that they come to know you as their Lord and personal Savior. Father God, I don't know if Kevin had known you. I don't know if he lived for you, Lord, Father God, but he's gone, Lord, Father God. I bless your holy name, Lord, Father God. I don't know if he had a chance to say, Lord, have mercy on me, Lord. I don't know. Father God, we thank you for your grace, for your mercy, for your love, Father God. It is so sad. Father God, I come before you this morning. It's nothing good that I have done. Father God is your grace and your mercy. Father God, you know me more than I know myself, Lord, Father God. Father God, I ask you, Lord, Father God, anything that is not of you that is in me, I ask to remove it, Lord, Father God. Any mountain in my way, Lord, move it. Any crooked road, make it straight, Lord, Father God. Father God, keep me as the apple of you. Eyes, Lord Father God, saturate me in your blood, Lord Father God. I bless your holy name, Lord. Father God, thank you for what you did, what you're doing, and what you're about to do in my life. Father God, you know my heart desire. You know what I ask you for, Lord. Father God, and if it's your will, Lord, I ask you to grant it to me, Lord. You know what's best for me. You know what time is best for me and everything, Lord. Mm -hmm. I bless your holy name, Lord. Father God, this morning I bring the world before you. Father God, these people were trying to do this thing to these children. Father God, is a whole generation could be lost if this thing come true. Father, do something, Lord. Father God, step in. Those people who have power to be doing this thing to these school children, Lord. Father God, you are God, Lord. Father, but you know, Lord, we know your word cannot come back for it. It must be fulfilled. Mm. I bless your holy name, Lord, Father God. So, Father God, we just have to cling to you, Lord, Father God. We have to cling more to you, Lord, because only in you our anchor will hold. Our anchor will not hold anywhere else, Lord, Father God. We bless your holy name, Father God, and as we are about to continue in your word, Lord, Father God, we ask you to be with us, Lord, in Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. Thank you, Lord. Mm. Heavenly Father, we come before the throne of your grace, care of glory. We bow down before thee, majesty. We humble ourselves before thee, care of glory. 
as we come before the throne of your grace, our Father, we ask you, Father, to forgive us, our Father, forgive us of, of sins, iniquity, and errors and mistakes that we might have committed or touched or think of, O oh Lord. Jehovah, deliver us, O oh Father, from those such in Jesus' name. May you help us, O oh Father, so that when we come in the throne of your grace, O oh Father, we don't have any shame. We don't have any remorse that you have done this and that and that, but we still, we have to ask for forgiveness daily. Jehovah, I thank you, Father, for this day. Let this day be the day that the Lord has made. We'll rejoice and be glad on it in Jesus' name. Father, at this point in time, I ask you, Jehovah, to, to take total control over everything that we'll do here oh. in the platform. And ask you, Jehovah, to take total control in everything, our mouth, our praise, our, our preaching. Take total control, Jehovah, in everything, Jehovah, in the name of Jesus. We invite you, Lord Jesus, in this platform. We invite you, Holy Spirit, in this platform. We invite you, Yahweh, in this platform. We invite you, Adonai, in this platform. We invite you, King of Lord, and say, Daddy, have your way and let your will be done, King of Glory, in the name of Jesus. May you soak us in your precious blood. Soak me, O oh Father, and soak Sister Rosanna, Father, in your precious blood from the top of our head to the, soul, the soles of our feet, Jehovah, in Jesus' mighty name. Soak our voices, O oh Father, in your precious blood. May they be purified and glorified by your power, Jehovah, in Jesus' name. May anything that will stand before, stand between us and you, O oh Lord, Jehovah, may you be removed by your power, King of glory, in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the true living God. That he use us as you please, O oh Lord Jehovah. Everything that you want us to do, Father, will promise that, Father, with your help, we will do it, O oh Lord, according to that will in Jesus' mighty name. Wherever you send us, O oh Father, we promise that, Father, we will obey and we'll, we'll go where you want us to go, Jehovah, in Jesus' mighty name. Father, we thank you. We bless your name. We say, Father, let your will be done in this platform. Let your will be done in our lives. Let your will be done in this ministry. Let your will be done, King Glory. In Jesus' name, I cover our pictures right now with the precious blood of Jesus. It shall not be snatched, go and do evil with them. In Jesus' mighty name, I cover them with the precious blood and the Holy Ghost fire in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the true living God. Did I thank you, Father, for our children? I thank you, Father, for Sister Rosanna's children. I thank you, Father, for, for her uh, grandchildren, oh God, Jehovah, in the name of Jesus. And I said, Father, I know for sure they're protected. And I, pro I, I ask you, Jehovah, to protect them more, O oh Lord Jehovah, and cover them for in your precious blood in Jesus' name, the outgoing and coming in in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, the Son of the true living God. And I thank you, Father, for my sister's life. And I say, Father, you are phenomenal. Our thank you will never be enough to you, Jehovah. And I say, Father, you will be done. Continue doing whatever you are doing, my Lord and Savior, in Jesus' name. Then I thank you, Father, for my family. And I thank you, Father, for my life. And I say, Father, you are in the throne of grace, your glory. May you strengthen us, oh, Father, each day, each task, whatever you put us through, because we know that, Father, you cannot take us to the penance and you are not going to take care of us. You just say that, Father, those who remain holding into your hand, you will protect them, you will save them, and you will bless them and reward them with long life. And I say, Father, we claim that in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the true living God, in Jesus' name. Did I thank you, my Father. I bless your name, Father, for the for Lamini's life. And I say, Father, you are in the throne of grace, my God and Savior, in the name of Jesus. And I thank you, Father, for my brother's life. And I say, Father, you are in the throne of grace, care of glory, in Jesus' name. And I thank you, Father, for Nana's life. And I say, Father, you will be done. She was standing on Lord. And I say, Father, have your way and let your will be done in Jesus' mighty name. Your Father, we thank you, Father, for the whole world. We bless your name, O oh Father. We know that, Father, you are in the throne of grace. In the midst of the storm, in the midst of the, the, the dust, in the midst of everything, Jehovah, you are in the throne of grace, Jehovah, in Jesus' name. Lady, I thank you, Father, for the, for the election in Sierra Leone that you took place yesterday. It seems to be quiet, Jehovah, but we don't know exactly what the other part, but the other part was quiet and it was peaceful. And I said, Father, thank you for answering the prayers, oh Lord. You have done it and you do it again to other countries, Lord. And where there is garnishing of teeth, I know that, Father, you will show up in the name of Jesus Christ. Holy Spirit, have your way. Let it will be done. Where there is war, let it be peace, Jehovah, in Jesus' name. Where there is garnishing of teeth, Father, if it's anything of this because of the enemy have caused it, I ask you, Jehovah, to comfort them, oh Lord. With those who are mourning, I ask you, Father, to comfort them. Those who are in the prison doors, I ask you, Father, to reveal yourself to them. 
even our four, four prophet or four, four prophet Joseph, Father, you speak to him in the in the in the in the in the prison. All of them they were in the prison. Paul and Silas, they were in the prison and we speak to them and do miracles in the prison, Lord. And I say, Father, do miracles to in the, the people that are in the prison, Lord, Lord Jehovah, in Jesus' name. And if it's your will, you release them in Jesus' name. Those who are in the sick bed, oh Lord, in the hospital, I ask you, Jehovah, to intervene, oh Lord, Jehovah, in Jesus' name. If it's your will, Lord Jehovah, you will heal them and they will come and testify to your goodness, my Lord and Savior, in Jesus' name. Daddy, may you, may you protect us, oh Father, wherever we go, whatever we do, protect us, oh Father, cover us and let your will be done. No tragedy, no, no premature death, no untimely death in our world, in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Father, for what you're going to do. We dedicate all into your cage, oh Father, and the master of the universe, have your way. Speak to us, oh Father, and help us even to understand, oh Father, if it's a correction, Father, correct us, we want to do it right by your help, oh Lord, oh Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. 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 A national song. Pastor, I have to read um, Psalm 68. Is it just one verse in just it? One, just one verse. Okay. God good. rises up and scatters his enemies. Those who hate him run away in defeat. Amen. 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 I don't know what I, I had it here, but I I, I still don't understand. I, 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 but they sent me the um the password for my uh to set my iPad. So it's working. I finished setting it yesterday, and now I um I'm having trouble to log in. Anyway, amen. I got it here. So it's the um easy Bible. You say. God shall arise, his enemy shall be scattered, and those who hate him shall, shall flee before him. God shall arise, his enemy shall be scattered, and those who hate him shall flee before him. You are talking or you are sharing about whatever those, those people, because they are the enemies of God. When you do something that is not related to God, so you are the enemies of God. So he said, he will arise and his enemies shall be scattered and those who hate him shall flee before him. Oh. Those who hate him shall flee from him. We know that they, we have this that is coming up and we have that and this and that. But he said he will arise and he will scatter them. When God scattering things, he's scattering things. He doesn't joke with it. Oh, yeah. he do what yeah. he said he will do. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Oh, oh, yeah. Amen. 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 It is that time. It is that time. Come, Holy Spirit. So you didn't bring me the steak, yeah? You didn't put it in your pocket. Yeah. <laughs> you oh. I said, you didn't bring the steak in the pocket. And there used to be this man, when he's going somewhere, he will get a, ba a bucket. Even if he's going to the funeral, he gets <laughs> a bucket. So whatever they give it to him, he put it in the bus, in the, in the, in the bucket. Uh -huh. Whatever they give it, he will just be eat, eat a little bit, he put it in the bucket. He's taking to his children. Uh -oh. Even he was an older guy. Even if he's in the funeral, like in the funeral preparation, yeah, he will go with the bucket. He, <laughs> my sister, he just like my sister. He was like a friend to my sister. So I don't know how he knows it. Anytime when my sister is preparing for tea in the morning, he will pass by. If it's in the afternoon, you will know he will pass by. And he doesn't take one cup or two or three. Five ten, yeah, five ten. And he'll be talking, telling my sister all the stories. And later on, my sister said, "Oh, you um, I like in our language, he said um, in the respect, uh, you um, I know that you'll be talking and make me forget how many cups you have so far." <laughs> he said, "Oh, I only have two. And then they, they are even my nephew. I mean, my niece who was saving. He said, oh, 10. He doesn't mind. I don't know where it goes. For us, oh, one yeah. cup of coffee is, I'm okay. 
like in the morning, I can have the, the medium coffee and I spend oh. the, almost the whole the afternoon with it. Like for sometimes, you know, there's a time when it's quiet and uh -huh. it does. Yeah, that, that's the reason. So to God be the glory. And I had a dream about my sister last night and it was not a good dream. It was like she went to the hospital. It was in a panic mood. Like everything was fast, 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 fast. You know, when something wrong is happening, uh -huh. just like that. I just remember now, just like that. So to God be the glory. And dedicate all into it. it is in God's hands. So it, it is well, it is well. So yeah. um, we thank God in Sierra Leone election took place yesterday. It was peaceful way it was. Uh, it, it was peaceful. Um, your brother was showing me the other part, the other part, the red one, the one that they read. Mm. You know what the worship is? When they go for the rally, the devil will be in front of them. Like they mm. make the, the devil will be uh -huh. in front of uh -huh. the thing. So they say they will say they may, they 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 will going to win, and the men have billions of people. The one that that that, that, that yes, yes. and a few of them. How can he be in this world? That few people that they can conquer the multiple people because they hate this man because it does travelism this other time and this other time they said they don't go to school so they do things in or or oh. like that. Yeah, then whatever they feel like they can do, they can they can do it. Yesterday when I was crying together and I said, Father, and those people that they, they are doing this nonsense uh, to me, um, that's that 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 insecure because they know that I, I I went to school, so um, the insecure so they act like people from the from the farm like from the village. And I mean, nowadays people from the village, they're losing better, what does, now they go to school. So they're, they're not professional. Even those who I thought maybe they should have known. Two person put on day, what did I say? Day, day before you, day, day, day permanent. Why they have to worry with you? I wouldn't worry. No, I was you, asking yeah. myself. If, if I'm in a place and I know I have so much uh, real service and thing, person, I I'm really honest with you. you could come with your master's, you could come with your PhD, you could come with whatever. It doesn't bother me. That's right. Because not one person could do all the work. They have to have mm -hmm. other people to come to do the work. And they cannot do it. Yeah, like so, it so, so I, I, I think they they're crazy, you know. They're not professional. They're not professional. They're not professional at all. This Friday I went to the place that I love. This the professional people. So everything is done different, like quietly. You know, like professional. You know, when things are better organized and all those kind of things. But when I look back, I said, Lord Jesus, really, what's going on? Oh, yeah, yeah. But then again, you have to blame management. And they should have a protocol how things run. This go here, this go there, this go there. They have a protocol and that's it. Straight across the board, yeah. Management have to blame for that. This one come, they go, go left. That one come, they go right. This one come, they go up. Next one, no, it can't work like that. Yeah. If they have a, a protocol and thing, it, everything will go good. Yeah. I think... I think they do because when the manager is around, you don't see that they match. Um, when she's not around, that's why you see they will go to the corner, she, she, she. they will go to the corner, she, she, she. but when she's around, no, they, they pretend that everything is okay. But again, I'm not too sure, I don't want to blame anybody. I sometimes even ask myself, so, um, I don't know whether maybe she's okay or whatever, or she played too. I, I, I don't know. Sis, I pray that God will reveal this to me in Jesus' name. So to God be the glory. So uh, we'll shoot to the message. Today we're going to have a little long talk. Why? Because we're going to talk about our Lord Jesus Christ. Because we have been not, not knowing who he is. People they interpret him, and some of them they say this and that. Well, yeah, everybody interpret him different, you know. That's right. Mm -hmm. Everybody. 
I was watching YouTube and all of a sudden this young man, he came and talked about Egypt, talk about, did he talk about Israel? I talk about Israel and talk about uh, how, how, or oh, the secret churches. He was talking about the secret churches in those places. So um, a lot of uh, Muslim people now, they are beginning to see things differently and they are beginning to hear the gospel and the way it was. So, and uh, the sad thing is, when they notice that you uh, um you you want to take another route they disown you but it's good when they disown you Christ will will, uh, will will own you and when Christ own you then you have a better life to live and you have a lot of things to do so today's message is who is Jesus who is Jesus who is Jesus? Who is Jesus? Who is Jesus? This we're going to talk about that. In your, in your mind, without overthinking, without um, without reading anything. Who is Jesus? Pastor, he's my savior. Amen. That's the one who died on Calvary for my sin. That's it. He 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 paid the ultimate price. That's right. You you make a child, but you think you're going to go and and. And, and put your life in jeopardy for your for your child to, to dead? I don't think so. Amen. But God loved us so much. That's right. He, he paid it. Yeah. You forgot to wave to him. Let's wave to him, Daddy. Good morning. Good morning, Daddy. Good morning, our Lord Jesus Christ. Good morning, Holy Spirit, the Spirit of the True Living God. Um. So um, when oh, for God for beach. When somebody um asks you to give you uh to give him five five things about Jesus or five things of what or what do you know about Jesus, what do you will say? Just uh, you don't have to think about it. Just uh, randomly, like whatever you know about him. To give him five things? Yeah. If somebody says, oh, Rosanna, give me five things right now about about this, do you say Jesus is your savior? And what else and what else and what else? I don't understand that. To give him five things? Yeah. Or to That's tell it. him five things? To tell, to tell him five things. Oh, okay. Well, well he, 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 he laid the blueprint there for us and he tell us what to do to keep his commandments. Yeah. Don't blaspheme him. Keep his commandments. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. To love him, obey him. That's right. So uh, for me, when you say, uh, Bono, tell me about Jesus and who is Jesus? I'll say, he's my Lord, he's my savior, he's my redeemer, he's my fortress, he's my strong tower, he's my king, he's the king of my life and the king of my soul. He is my everlasting redeemer. He's everything, he's your savior. When he's your savior, he's everything. That's right. Yeah. Oh, and redeemer, because we have been redeemed. We are, we are yeah. here because we have been redeemed. Yeah, he saved us and he redeemed us. Mm -hmm. um, and that is blood, yeah. That's right. We, we, have been, we have been saved because our Savior lives. We have been redeemed because our Redeemer lives. Yeah. So um, I, I, I think about, I, I mean, I said five, but I, I think I mentioned seven things at, at, at a time. It's my all in all. That's right. Yeah. yeah. Because he is my everything. Without him, I don't know this point in time where I will yeah. be. So when we mind. talk about Jesus, people they get so confused. I don't know exactly where they get from, where the confusion comes from, or maybe because they have so much different teaching. That is what happens. That's, That's the whole problem. Where the uh, where the confusion comes from, and why, why people they are so confused about Jesus? What did they really hear? Yesterday, from? because for me, I will say everything. I think I, I talk too much sometimes. Not really talk too much. I want to talk about the things of God and Christ. I just, I just talk. So, um, I, I was talking to your brother, and I said, um, they were saying something when they were praying for opening for the, the, um, for the election, 
and there was a Muslim old lady who stood up and pray. They don't pray. They don't pray in English. You won't even know what they're saying and stuff like that. The other day, and I asked him, "What is that? The really the woman is saying? They just cram whatever they learn from. It's not something they hear from God." Then the other day was the, the other day I was just reasoning with God, and I said, uh, uh, "Father, really, uh, what this uh, Islamic is all about?" And what they do believe in is that Africans, they do how they should have come across this. No, they shouldn't. Then I said, um, because they, they were vulnerable, they were they obey or they worship other gods from other countries. Um, if it was God of the black people, it doesn't speak Arabic. If it's God, the black people. Yes, Arabic is a language. But they went to Africa, most people to those countries that they were dominated by um by um by Islamic because it was just because they did not have choice. So if you want your child to go to school, even to play soccer, you have to be um uh, you have to be a Muslim in order to. to get something, even the food, even everything. And why even, I don't know this, it's God who's, who's teaching us this. So that's why when you die now, you bury tomorrow and you, you, you die like a dog and be buried like a dog. There's no coffin. Why because they use one coffin? Why because I don't know, and there's no tomb. They make a hole, you just go into a hole. Why? Because the religion that they dominated them, this from the another country, they dominate, they dominated or the they initiated them because it's initiation, and they because of uh poverty. When you say poverty is a crime, that's why. So since they don't have money to keep the body. As black as Christianity does. Um, since they don't have money, so when they said somebody died now and buried tomorrow, because they can't, they, they, they don't have money because that this property day. So if it was that choice, I don't think that they will, somebody will die now and don't will do tomorrow. The reason why other countries they mourn and they have period of of preparation in order to um preparation in order to um going to west maybe some of them they can we can somebody forgot for it die on monday or sunday or whatever then they will uh will, the funeral will take place on saturday or monday or mostly in the weekend saturday or sunday why because they believe that when they're still in preparation and wandering and praying and all those things so you get Still really bit because now you notice that the person is gone. So he's not here with us. And right now, as we speak, maybe he's in the funeral home. Back home on uh, Friday, when somebody passed, and the funeral is going to be tomorrow. So oh, because we can't keep the body here. So we have to keep the body in the funeral home. So we'll be going to we'll do the arrangement, this kind of thing. And uh, maybe Friday we'll be going, or Thursday we'll go and pay the, pay the funeral home and prepare the, 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 the person, prepare the body, right? So when we bring the body home, we'll be on singing. And in this preparation, people, they will be singing through our the gospel. That's comforting, word of encouragement, word of comfort through all those things through those days until the day of the funeral and maybe a day after. So the family, they will be gathering. People from another place, they will be there gathering. Why? Because somebody has passed away in the family. So they are mourning, they are consoling one another. And the time when they bring the, the body home, you know that our if it's a mother or father or sister or whatever, Today is home. They will go and get the body from the funeral home and bring it home and we spend the night with that person. And in the morning, there's a view. We view in the morning at home. 
So in the morning we view the body, and that's what will tell you that. Uh, I mean, that's that's me. That the, uh, I believe other people they they feel that way. That will show you that you know why that person is sleeping here consciously, so lifeless. So indeed, the person is gone. Not that the person died now, and you won't see the person. Oh. You won't see the person. Even if it's your husband, if you're a woman, for God, for, for, for that, that is infinity, you won't see your husband. Just dig yes. and dig the hole and put the person in the hole and does it. And when they go for that, that three days, no woman is going there. It's a man. A man goes there. Not a woman. So you know that your, 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 your husband is gone and you won't see him again. This God is gone. Why? Because it's a, a, a they're vulnerable because of this poverty thing. Uh, and oh. back home we have the um we have the 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 the, the burial society. We contribute the money oh, every wow. month to one oh. everything. Oh. So if it's six of us, even though they turn it to evil now, so if it's six of us in our family. So I will have my own somewhere else, and my sister will have, and my brother, and whatever, 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 they will have different, will have different. So when something happened in our family, so mine will come and contribute the money, and the other one will come and they ask for my sisters and all those kind of things, okay. a lot of money. So people now, they have turned into an evil thing. It was a good thing, it's helping, but it's still help, helping though, because that those days, they were not fighting for the money. Mm -mm, you don't fight for it. Oh, sure. Just for that purpose. But now mm -hmm. they fight for it. They said mm -hmm. if you have a, if they had a, a foundation that they've been standing there and somebody died after two, three months, then they will finish the house, which is good because the, the money is much. You can't finish that money. I, I mean, for the just for the funeral. So um, they will build, they will continue finishing the house, which is good. But nowadays they started to fight for the money. Like they, mm -hmm. I brought mine, my my funeral, whatever it came and brought mine. What I need mine. Ah, uh, you need more your money. Then that's evil. Oh, well, that money is for this purpose. So if there's a house was about to be built at home in this home, because that's what is happening, then we're going to continue finishing that house. Then in that case, it was better not for the children to fight for it. Oh. So in that case, it's taking care of everything. So we don't have to worry about nothing much. Then if you, it's, it's up to you, if maybe your brother is someplace, then you want your brother to come, to, to come and uh, um, do the, uh, give the last respect. Then if the father, the brother or whomever doesn't have the money someplace, you buy a ticket for the brother, you mm -hmm. come in and, and oh. give the last respect. And like you die now, you bad tomorrow. Oh. Or in the afternoon. That's too sad. So if it was for Jesus Christ, to God be the glory, um this way different. So um let's talk a little bit further about this Jesus. People they have been interpreting him. They have been saying a lot of things about him. Some of them, they've been insulting him. We know that he had been insulted before. So at this point in time, I believe that we are, we are well educated because of the Bible. And we know we should know a little bit better, even though by his grace, and we sometimes get lost and we find out, <laughs> we find ourselves somewhere place. But we, at least we know. Um, if your child, I like the Chinese, what they do and the Indians. So before the child goes to the daycare, they make sure that the baby speak that language because in this country. Why? Because they know that the, the child will learn English outside there and the, 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 um, the language will die, die away, isn't it? Most of our children lost them. Onana doesn't. She can understand a little bit too the things that she remember, or she hears somebody says something, she will she will she will remember a little bit, but it's gone. Oh. 
yeah the, it, she doesn't she doesn't know Susanna anymore so she have to google it what is that the meaning if somebody says something to them or to her then she will google the thing and say oh that's mean meant this but to express herself in the language she doesn't even know it Right. So I like the Chinese, I like the Filipino, the Filipinos did that too. I like the Chinese, the Indians, the mostly that's what I know. So they make sure that the child before they go to the daycare, they stay with the child home. So the, the child is grounded in that language. Even when you deceive the child or you say something outside there, they know. Yeah, they can tell, they can understand in, in English, but they know much in that language. Why? Because it's grounded solid so um if this christianity thing was the real one from the beginning and people have grounded on it we will have not been perishing now we will have not been the real we will know because we have, we are solid if it's a tree i have a strong root it's going to take the it's going to take the the storm uproot that tree why because it's grounded and the roots is from here maybe to um to Ingleton or from here to some place because why is grounded the tree that have been sitting there for 200 years the roots is not here some of them that are in the um like from in Scarborough maybe the roots is up to the um to the ocean get the water from that the ocean why because they have been here for so long and the roots have been grown so long and is grounded your brother was sharing with me the other day he said um there was this pastor in uh, in his country so he professes about the tree and the people they just get angry with him because that is the tree where they were um they planted things and they, they they did this and that and that and more especially for this party there the opposition. So the this pastor professors about it and they wanted to, to that that tree have to be uprooted. They wanted to kill the pastor because he said that. But the Lord uprooted that tree. One day when they wake up in the morning, the tree was 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 uprooted by the lightning. What they have seen in that tree. They said the tree, the tree has been there for ages. So what they have seen under that tree, and people were not too pleased. Those who wanted that tree, because it's the tree that they have put things on it. Oh. So now when you talk about Jesus Christ, so if we were grounded from the beginning about Jesus Christ, and we know the truth about him, and we know the truth about God, we would have not been deceived. And I believe that um, even the people that they they worship other things, other things, they believe in other things, they will have not believed in other things. Let's say we have a good teacher, and this teacher have taught, uh, taught us theory and taught us English and uh, all those things that, that the, the thing that he knows that when you go outside there in the field, you'll be you, you, you'll be using that. And he teach us so well. Do we forget that? And when you get to the field and you're still using the 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 the, 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 uh, the experience and the qualification that you learn from school, can you forget easily? No. And what made me uh, think otherwise again with this education thing and silly things? You learn something in school that you don't even use it outside in the field. You learn something in school and you don't use it in the field. And even in this interview, stupid things that the interview, they interview you for something different. And the interview is not, there's nothing related to what you're going to do in the field, most of them, most of the things. So if the, the, we, we get teaching well training or teaching about Jesus Christ, no one will deceive us. To God be the glory is by the grace. So when you, you, the grace of God is upon you, you won't be wondering and you are filled with the Holy Spirit. You won't be wondering and asking yourself who Jesus Christ is. When somebody asks you about Jesus, you will tell them this and that and that and that and that. And that, and that. I, 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 it's not like I, I, I appreciate whatever 
or I encourage it. When a really Muslim person, uh, you invite, try to invite them to Christ or invite them to church, they will tell you that they are pure Muslim. They are pure, which means I don't want to hear anything, whatever you say. Why? Because they are pure. Pure means they are real one. And for us, we still, when somebody asks you, are you a Christian? Say, ah. Yeah, yeah. Why? Well, because you, again, we are, we are, we kind of, um, um, not really scared or don't want to 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 share much about that. Why? Well, because the moment you are around them and you said yes, I'm a Christian, you are the enemy. You are the enemy. You will be the enemy around them. So at least you don't have to say nothing. But if you then say nothing, is that good, good for us? No. Is that good to, to our Lord? No. You, why? We have to, we, people, they have to know who we are. We don't have to hide it. Whether they like us, they like us, or they don't like us. That's why this morning and yesterday when I was praying, I said, Father, we need the, the, the leaders, that the, uh, the Christian leaders to be, to, to be majority so that we won't have trouble as well. Because those that are on the rock, Pastor. Sorry, sis. Those that are on the rock. That's right. Because those Muslim people and there, people are not stupid. They know what it is going on with them who say they're for Christ and they're not for Christ. They, they know. That's what they said to you. They, they know. I yeah. mean, it is what it is. So, yeah. Um, I pray that God will raise the Christian leaders and huh. will be ruled under the fear of God and people they will understand exactly uh, who God and who Christ is, it's better. It's sad when you, you wait until you die and you think you, 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 you are trying to figure it out who Christ is at the last minute, then it's too late. And you're dead, you're dead. That's right. And I sometimes pray that, you know, um, God can just glimpse the heavens to us and glimpse to us who Jesus Christ is, the whole world. And I believe that if we have seen the big picture, just that glimpse, then people will change. Why? Because the things have been dominated in this planet. So we can't even remember who Jesus Christ is. Um, whether it's our Lord or whether he has died in the cross of Calvary or whether he has sacrificed his life, or whatever way he comes from, we can't remember. We don't even know. We don't even care. We care about what will give us dollar. May God help us. Pastor, what is what, what is the topic again? I didn't write it down yet. Oh, who is Jesus? Who is Jesus? And who and what does he do to us? Let's read Jeremiah 29, 13. I gave the letters, the letter to Elasa, son of Shapna, and to Jeremiah, son of Hilka. Who King Zedekiah of Judah was sending to King Nebuchadnezzar of Babylon. It said, Amen. Amen. Is that Jeremiah 29, 13, sis? No, not 13, 3. Oh, maybe I, I, I typed it wrong. It should be 13. It's 13, okay, well, then I read 13. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You will seek me and you will find me because you will seek me with all your heart. Amen. In English standard version, it says, you will seek me and find me when you seek me with all your heart. It's not something that is hidden. You seek him, you will find him. And when you seek him, seek him with all your heart, 
and you will find him. Uh, you'll find him. Seek him and you'll find him. Christ is not hidden. It's hidden if you want him to be hidden. And it can be a secret if you want him to be a secret in your life. But if you want him to be open to be to accept him openly, then you will know Jesus Christ openly, and there's no secret. What about Psalm 27 1 says? The Lord is my light and my salvation. Amen. I will fear no one. The Lord protect me from all danger. I will never be afraid. Amen. Amen. So when we are not afraid of accepting Jesus Christ as your Lord, and you publicly say it. We, 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 we won't be troubling, we won't be struggling, we won't be, uh, we, we won't be overthinking who Jesus Christ is. We'll just say Jesus Christ is who Jesus Christ is. And he is the only one that he is, he is and he is. Oh. But if we are confused, your leg in and your leg out, then that's the problem. But if you're leg in, you know, I, I, I'm, I, I, I don't know how, how to live a, a double life. Even in a relationship, I don't do double life. I rather, if this one didn't work, marriage didn't work, I just quit. And if uh, another one comes, if uh, it's the, the, the will of God, I will go with this one. And I, I just focus into this one. Because I, it, it, it is the same thing with the Bible. You can't say, you can't love two people at the same time. That's what the Bible says. You cannot have two masters. Oh. It's either you love another and the other one oh. you hate. Oh. Or, or you hate another, have problems. That, that's right. Then you'll be confused. Simple, they don't have problems. That's right. You'll be confused at the same time as well. So it's better to focus in one. If this one is, is it doesn't work, it doesn't work, then let's try the other one if it works. Uh -huh. And if we, we, we accepted Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior, we don't have to fear anything. We don't have to fear anything because God is with us. Emmanuel he is with us. What about Mark 1, 1, 6? This is the good news about Jesus Christ, the Son of God. Amen. Amen. The Son of God. And you know, uh, the time when they were crucifying him, they said he claimed to be the Son of God. Uh -huh. Yeah. And they can even tell, uh, they, they can even say, who Jesus claimed to be? That to them he claimed he was not the Son of God. To them, he was not what he's what they think that he was. And it's sad when you realize that in the last minute. That wow, indeed, that was the son of God. So you block your ears to hear the good news, to hear what they what to hear and get what you should have got. And if you did not get it and you destroyed that thing, did you ever get it again? No. I don't like to keep things for a long time, but I sometimes keep things for some times. Why? Because I know I might destroy this. Maybe later when I, I, I need it again, you know, it will be easy for me to get it. Not that I have it and I destroy it. And when is when that time that I need it, I have to go and be searching for it. And nowadays, the things that we had a long time back, since we don't have them now, you were asking for your brother to get you the can opener those days. There, there's no way you can find it unless it may be in one of the, the antique store. They might still have yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. 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 But apart from that, no, then they're not. They, they, they came with it that, yeah. day, that that was that season and it's gone. So if maybe that time we were matured enough. Or, or yeah, maybe that because some of them were in silly, right? If we are matured enough, we'll have buy them and keep them for this time. Because they, they, they were very good quality. Uh -huh. They were very strong. The thing yeah. for that time is very strong. If you have uh -huh. it, I will I will advise you to keep it. 
Don't throw it. My mother has the 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 plate, the um the the the, the, the plate, the glass plate. Um, they were different, and I still live in this time when I'm going to the store. I'm looking for something particular to that. I never come across one of them. And I'm thinking that if I get them, I will replace my mother's plate, whether she's alive or not. I'll replace it. But will I be able to get them? No, uh, by, by God's grace, I might. Even this, the, the cup and saucer uh -huh. Yeah, so that uh -huh. is now. Even if they make them, they don't make them as well. Now they make the coffee mug. For us to be sitting down with the with the glass, I mean the, the saucer and the cup, okay. it's, not, it's not there anymore. So we buy them, we keep them, we decorate with them. I know in the long run will, they will be useful. It's the same thing with the currency. Um, this is the Sierra Leone money because for them they have those five thousand. This is five thousand or whatever Leon or five thousand. Yeah, five thousand Leon. So if it was a, a, a lot of money, so um, it, it, it's real. So they have changed the currency now, but the, 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 it's no longer. So he wanted to send it so that they can spend it. I said, no, give it to me, I'm going to keep it. There will be a time when it's been a recall, they will recall it. And when they recall it, it's antique, it's money. They used to, they used to show, I'm doing too much too. Uh, yeah, that's going to be the group. There is this show, I don't know what they have seen. They sell the antique things, sis. Uh -huh. Something that they have it for maybe 20, and you still, we kept it in a good shape. Since they're getting more money. Yeah. 50,000, 50,000, 15,000. Even if this, this small ball like this, if it's antique, it's maybe 300,000 or 200. Yeah. So you benefit from keeping things. Like your frame sis, don't throw it away. It's the same thing when I see the patient with the with the old card, the red and white one. Uh -huh. uh, yeah, I said don't don't because it doesn't expire. Don't even if they want to to, to get the card with the, the, the picture now. So uh, because of this crime thing now. So don't give it away. Keep it. Just change it to that, just keep it. But they will send a new one to you, right? It's not that I take it away. You just keep it. You'll use it one day. The God be the glory. So it's the same thing with the gospel. The same thing with the Bible. Um, I I think we have we have to go for for, for the for the Bible theme because now they're changing the Bible. <laughs> yeah, they're changing the Bible. The things that was very important and the way that it was very important to 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 uh, the, the word of God. They want to change it to what suit them. Pastor, they have something taken out complete. I have a Bible right there. Look at right there. So look mm. at right there. It's not in it at all. That's right. I have that, that bad thing. Look, I have it right there. They take mm. it out complete. About 14 of them. Yeah, can you imagine? And that's the message. Mm -hmm. That's the word of God. Oh, okay. Why? Because they are killing the, the, they are killing the truth. I think, for God forbid, maybe in the long run, it will never be like that, that they will burn the Bible. And I know some places they burn the Bible. But the, the people start saying for, for it to buy Bible and keep because it, they're going to delete them. That's so right. they say to buy, to buy Bible for your family and or buy Bible and put them because you wouldn't be getting them. Because look, right. I, tell you, I have one, look at right there. Mm. And it's new. I bought it in Detroit couple. Look at it, brand new. I bought, and it's truth is not a lie. It's it's not in there at all, at all, at all. That's right. That's right. That's right. When I'm looking for Bible, and I, 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 most of the time when I'm looking for the Bible, I just want to. I go first in Psalm 23, and I want to read and understand it how it was before. If it's not, mm -hmm. if it's not, I don't buy that type of Bible. No. Mm -hmm. I want it to be the Lord is my Lord, the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He leadeth me in this and that. Yeah, but they change it and a lot of them. Yeah, they change it. They change it and all of them. They change it. That's right. That's all right. of them. They change. So, um, you know what I like about our Lord Jesus Christ? No matter how long he was born, long back, 
his name is still new and mm -hmm. word is still new like when you talk about jesus christ we, we talk about like some somebody who was there maybe five or ten years back but it's long back bc time 14 or or, or um or uh, 6 bc or 4 bc or all those long long time it's a long time but we're still talking about him as fresh why because he is god now when we talk about god as he was there before and he's still there so if we think about that we, we think about our little mind in our little mind what do you think that how old is god and why he doesn't get old like we don't hear that god is old now he cannot see <laughs> and he cannot talk and maybe he's using the cane whatever he is but we don't hear that he's still god he's still the same yesterday today when they say yesterday which means yesterday the 20 what is the 20 what yesterday the 24th yeah yesterday yeah. The 24th and yesterday and today and forever he still be the same let's say when we talk about bc god was there bc he's still the same yesterday the time of bc and jesus christ is still mm -hmm. the same, even now up to now uh, uh, mm -hmm. still forever they will be the, still the same for us we get older and we well, we lose the, the vision uh, uh we cannot even speak we cannot even walk some of the, the, a lot of people they have this kind of the sickness dementia so they cannot even function anymore but god how supreme he is and how all it will be so he's still the same for that time and today and tomorrow the same thing with jesus christ our lord he's still the same that time when he was before he been uh, the, uh, the, though he's not like and uh, when he was born as a child but he's still the same nothing will ever change him into that may god be the glory so if we we relate to him as that that he doesn't he doesn't change and he doesn't get old and he doesn't uh, he's not a baby anymore so which means he is the spirit he is god uh -huh. and one day when he when he said me and the father or i and the father are one they get confused so, yeah they get confused so completely completely why he oh. wants him to be god uh -huh. My pastor, in the biblical days, we have no lifespan, none, compared to the biblical days. That's we right. don't have one. Man living, when somebody live a hundred and thing, everybody's like, whoa, but back in the biblical days, 700, 600, and I talking about fully functioning. They're going out in the field, working whole day. They still having children. We have no lifespan compared to the biblical days, none. 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 Very None. True. Very true. Yeah. Our life is short. Why? Because of sin. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Sin dominated so much. Not saying that they did not have, they did not sin, but they were they 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 obedient to the things. Lord. They, they did. Mm -hmm. Even the, the king those days, they were obeying God. When you talk yeah. about King David, they worship God. Even King yeah. Kaneza, he worship yeah, God. Them, yeah. Just what yeah. going on now. Yeah. That's mm -hmm. right. They live in Bible, but they, they stay no lifespan my lord huh. the thing is are we complete or are we complete with the lord no we are not really complete with the lord and we are in the things if we are complete with the lord jesus christ we won't be confused with jesus christ jesus christ period is lord and he is the messiah he is jehovah he is a uh, uh, he is the bread of life he is the way the truth and the light he can not die and you go to see the father if you made it to heaven and you go without passing through Christ, that's why he came here and he died. Then, uh, uh, as they could have said, he died and he was a living and he's the, he is the king among the, the dead, he's the king among the, the, the living. So, he has both so that he can conquer everything. So, when you talk about death, he knows. When you talk about the living, he knows. When you talk about God, he knows. We can talk about God. Do we really know him as he is? No, not much. What about some transforms process? I have asked the Lord for one thing. One thing only do I want, to live in the Lord's house all my life, to marvel there at his goodness and to act for his guidance. Amen. Amen. 
English Standard Version said, one thing have I asked of the Lord that you will I seek after, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life in all the days of my life to gaze upon the beauty of the Lord and to inquire in his temple. Are we doing that? Not exactly. Are we inquiring about Jesus Christ? Jesus Christ, I was saying that he doesn't have secret. He's not a secret God. He's not even a secret Lord. When you ask him, Father, may you reveal yourself to me. Father, Lord Jesus, I want to know you. He will reveal himself to you. He's not a secret God that he, he cannot. If he's a secret God that you cannot see, that's a different thing. Yeah, you cannot see the face of God, but you can see the blue, the, the glaze, and you can see the 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 the, the, the back. You can see things. You can feel the presence. Oh, that's a different thing. So if you cannot feel the presence of God, then it's a problem. If you cannot be filled with the Holy Spirit, then it's a problem. So then something needs to be done. We are living in a world that they take us away from God. If you 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 know that you need deliverance, then you are in the right track because being delivered, then it's going to it's going to free you from a lot of things that is hindering you, hindering you to know the, the to know that Jesus Christ is Lord, hindering you to know that God is God. But if you have, and hindering you to save Him, but if you are not hindered, then you will know things better. Even we is not even to, to, to say Jesus Christ is my Lord and my Savior, you won't have shame into that. Why? Because you are free. What about John 10, 86? The Father and I are one. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Father and I were are one. He is the same as God. Uh -huh. so, well, now, when you want people to be confused, they will say, "How can he be? How can he be the same with God? He is the same with God because he was sent here for us." And again, God will have not come and appear in a human form or appear with His mighty and glory to us to teach us what Jesus Christ taught, or to be among us, like how Jesus Christ be among us. It was purpose, purposely done that way. We are talking about how old is God and how old is Christ and how God looked like. So if he, we don't know how God looked like and he made or created him to come in a form of a human being, because the Bible says we are the image of God. We look alike like God and even Christ come in this world as a human in a human flesh is to, to reveal himself so that we can relate to him and he can teach us about God and reveal the things to us about God. Because if we don't have a relationship with him, how dare you think that you have the relationship with God? Uh -huh. If you don't have a relationship with the, the one that you have seen, the one that was sent, Mm -hmm. The one that was created to come and mm -hmm. be our, to show the love of God to us. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That is why he was created to do that job. Yeah. That's right. That's what his assignment. That's right. What about 33 sis? They answered, we do not want to stone you because of any good deed, but because of your blasphemy. Mm -hmm. You are only a man but you are trying to make yourself God. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. You see the confusion. So from day one, they wanted to kill him. Why? Because to them, he claimed to be God. Even whatever he said to them, it was lies. It's the same thing with, the, with now. So if it's a real man and woman of God, they preach the gospel, the true one, People they don't believe it. Why? Because there was no truth in, in the beginning. People they don't believe. You believe if you have fell in this by the Holy Spirit and God revealed this to you. That's why you believe. But apart from that, no. Even myself, if I was not filled with the filled with the Holy Spirit, I won't believe much. First of all, we didn't see God. We don't know where He is. I was just mentioning here that we don't know how old He is. So if Lombard 
thousand years back, he is still the same, or he is, he was there and created him in the heaven and earth, and he still be God. And does he does it doesn't get old, or does he still see? As we say, God sees everything. Uh -huh. Yeah. So God sees everything. That's true. But if you're not filled with the Holy Spirit, you know that there's God who created you. Because in in, in the in the normal way, when you think of, of where we come from or how we created it, then that's what will make you to think that God is real. Yes, God. God. Uh -huh. So if you are a non-believer, that there's no God and there's no Christ. That's an, an, another thing. Then uh -huh. you won't believe in anything. Sure. Yeah, you won't believe anything. You, you can even end up being confused and go and believe the cow, that the cow is God. Why? Because uh -huh. it give you milk. Some people worship that. That's right. And you will go and believe. Um, other people, they believe in the station. Other people, they, they believe in the money cans. The sun, the moon. The sun, the moon. The That's yeah. right. And if they believe in the sun and the moon and they don't believe God in God, who created them? I know. I yeah, know but they created them to 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 be to worship them. No, they did not create them to worship you, to worship them. God is the one who created them. The uh -huh. is the one who created them. And okay. he worshiped this Jesus. Uh -huh. He's been created. I, I, we didn't hear about him talking about the planet much in the Bible. But I believe he knows everything about the planet and what is in this planet and what is in the planet, this one, this one, then this one, this one. And why God have sent him here to come and die for us, to come and pay the price for us because we have been against the Lord. That's right. So the, the uh, 1033, you read that, right, sis? Yeah. Yeah, the, in the English Standard Bible, they say, the Jews answered him, it is not for a good work that we are going to stone you, but for blasphemy, because you being a man, make yourself good. Mm -hmm. So to them, mm -hmm. that this thing will have not happened. Christ will have not come here. You will have not come sent here, according to them. Mm -hmm. And if he was not sent there, how would have known or the, 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 who would have revealed things to us about God? Mm -hmm. We have not known anything. We have not even experienced anything. Like he will be crucified for three days, and the third day he will rise again and he will ascend to heaven. Those things will have not known them. And if it's now, we'll take the picture of all of it and it will be a mystery. Sure. Okay. We always forget about one thing, what God did. It's in John 3, 6, 13. We always forget about that. Let's read that, sis. John 3, 16, right? Yes, yes. For God so loved the world so much that he gave what? his only son mm -hmm. so that everyone who believe in him may not die but have eternal life. Amen. Amen. It says so much. In, in English Standard Bible, it says, for God so loved the world. For God so loved the world that he gave his only son that whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have eternal life. Mm -hmm. Eternal life, it means even after this life, we will have another life to live. And then another life to live is a scary one because we are here to prepare ourselves to enter that life. But if we don't prepare ourselves to enter that life, then it's going to be a problem. We always say, um, we always say what I was trying to say here, that to enter that life. So without, without him, we cannot enter that life. And right now, the life that we are living is a scary part because we have to make things correct. But the life that we are living, we are going to, is another scary one because we have to, um, to prepare ourselves in order to enter that one. 
It's the same thing when you, you, you write the exam or when you're about to write the exam, you prepare and you study for the exam, right? Because you cannot go to the exam room and you are not prepared. If you're not prepared and you did not study, then zero. It's the same thing right now. If we are not prepared to enter heaven, then zero. And why that zero will take us to a problem? And I have no hell. That's right. To hell. Yeah. Jesus Christ was a great teacher. If you talk more about him, he was a great teacher. He have taught them the good thing, the best one. And everything. So, um, if we did not get it that time, so it's a it's another story. To God be the glory. What about Luke six seventeen, sis? When Jesus has come down from the hill with the apostles, he stood on a level place with a large number of his disciples. A large crowd of people who was there from all over Judea and from Jerusalem and from the coast cities of Tyre and Sidon. Amen. Amen. We just talked that he was a great teacher. And in the English that I said, the, the Jesus ministered to a great multitude. So he was a teacher of not one or two. He was a teacher of everyone that wanted him to be his teacher or want to learn. He was the Lord or he's the Lord of everyone who accept him as the Lord and Savior. If you don't, then that's another story. Oh. Wherever he goes, they, they, there was always a crowd. Uh -huh. He is Lord. And why he is Lord? Because God have created him to come here. Like, um, we want to love God, but they, they, there's always those hindrances that they hinder us to love God. It's the same thing like we always want to love Christ, but there's always things that are hindering us to love Christ. If God can help us or deliver us to get rid of those luggage, we'll worship him in spirit and truth, the whole world. I can, I can imagine how the world will be if the whole world worship him. It will be a better place to be. What about Romans chapter 5, 1, 6? No. We're in John, John 17, 1 to 9. Oh, you don't have Romans? I have Romans, but way down. Okay. All right, let me, let me read it. You see, I just write it down how I get That's it in right. now. It, it, yeah. Okay. All right. Let me let me let me read Roman. Let me read it. Guys, slow down, but yeah, we have another one down there. This should be uh -oh. only one Roman. Mm. Roman ten six. I always uh -oh. mix you out. But what the scriptures say about being put right with God to fit is this, you are not to ask yourself who will go up into heaven. That is to bring Christ down. Amen. 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 And therefore, since we have been made right with right in God's sight by faith, we have peace with God because of what Jesus Christ our Lord has done for us. I'll read it in it is standard. I mean, um, English standard and see how, what it says. Hmm. He said, therefore, since we have been justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. We have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ, which means without him, there won't be peace with the, oh. between us and God. We have peace because of our Lord Jesus Christ. Apart from that, no peace. Uh, that's why other people, they, 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 are, they are miserable, let's say in this way. They're miserable, why? Because they don't have Christ and they don't have peace. If you don't have Christ, you don't have peace. Why? Because you have whatever somebody who, who you who believe in, like the devil, the devil is said, what the Bible talk about him, 
he is come to steal, to kill, and to destroy and lie. Mm -hmm. So if you don't have, if you if you mm -hmm. don't have Christ, you don't have anything. So you won't have peace in your heart. And that's why people they go miserable. They can be happy in ten in the next ten minutes, twenty minutes, five minutes, and three minutes. They 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 angry. You ask yourself why people they get so angry. They change the mood so much. This like you you can be happy the next day down. Um, you can be um. Or pretend that you are excited the next minute you're not i and i ask myself my mood doesn't go that way i can be disturbed in my spirit but i won't change the mood i won't be angry anyhow anyway no why because i have peace i have Christ within me and by that itself it brings peace to me no matter whether i'm going through the valley of the shadow of death I'll hold into that peace and you won't even notice that I am going in agony. Uh -huh. when, when we have that trouble, sis, when we have that trouble, I don't know, we're not going to talk about it. We know that we are going through things, but I never seen you down. Why? Because you have peace. You have Christ in you. And that by itself made you to be strong and maybe made you not to, to, um, to go or, or to be down. I remember there's a time when I was thinking about, I was just, I was not going to I was thinking about, about sister, sister, uh, 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 about our sister, sister Dudley. I said, she's so fragile. And sometimes you come with early in the morning. So I'll go and pick you up. Sometimes you're in pain, but you smile, pretend, or not pretend, just smiling. That a deal with being different. That, that's why, right. yeah, this is not kind of happening, yeah. but it's happening. But for her, she'll be so praying for every single thing, even if it's not there, because why they're fragile. And even if they said that they're, they're for Christ, this Christ thing is didn't uh, germinate in them. They, 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 they believe that there's Christ, but the Christian thing or the Christ thing is not in them. The, the, the love of God or the peace of Christ is not within them. So if it's not within them, so everything, it become like it's a problem, even if there's no problem. I always say, if they can come across my world and some of them, they will commit suicide. As for me, I shared about this, that I wanted to commit suicide that time. Why? Because I did not know Christ as I know him now. So when I think about that, I think it's, it's a foolishness thing ever. Why? Because I did not have peace. If I have Christ that time, I would have not thought of that. Now I have peace, I have Christ, and I don't fear no evil. Why? Because Ooh. Greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. And I, by himself being in my heart or within me, I don't scare of anything. Whether you bring the good news or the bad news, no. I might be disturbed a little bit of the whatever, the situation, but I don't really care. Yeah. When I was myself speaking the different language, I would say, I don't even give a damn. Uh, why? Because I know the one that is with me is greater than that. And the silly things about those wicked things, they want you to be like you, but they cannot come and ask you, really, what is happening, Rosie, about you? You know, you, you, you are always happy in this. What is the secret? When I um uh, I when I meet the people that they said oh we have been the, the, the married couple that they said they have been married for forty years some of them they have been married for years some of them they said we have been together for thirty two years and they're still holding hands then I said wow what is the secret what is so important like why are you still being together for that quite long time. Then I would say, for me, uh, I didn't, mine didn't last, it just lasted for 10 years. So yours, you said 40, 50, and they said they, they've been, they've been sweetheart from, from school. 
It's not that they started from that time. No, they have been married for four years, but they were sweethearts from 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 uh, um, high school, and they're still together in peace. Why? It's a secret about them. Other people that are together, they can be together now, and they pay. Why? Because they don't have this peace that we have, Christ Jesus. If they have that, there won't be a problem. Because once something happened to you, you hold into it. It's said Christ, Jesus. Yeah, I am my Lord. I'm fading away. Give me strength, peace. Give me peace. He said, I, I freely give it to you. Freely. Freely give it to you. God be the glory. What about John? Did you say John 17, sis? Yeah. Let's read it, sis. After Jesus finished saying this, he looked up to heaven and said, Father, the hour has come. Mm -hmm. Give glory to your son, so that the son may give glory to you. For you give him authority over all people, so that he might give eternal life to all those who you give him. To those you give him. And eternal life means to know you, the only true God, and to know Jesus Christ, whom you sent, I have shown you glory on earth. I have finished the work you gave me to do. Father, give me glory in your presence now. The same glory I had with you before the world was made. I have made, made you known to those who gave me out of the world. They belong to you and you gave them to me. They have obeyed your words. And now they know that everything you give me come from you. I gave them the message that you gave me and they receive it. They know that it is true that I came from you and they believe that you sent me. I pray for them. I do not pray for the world, but for those, hmm, for those you gave me, for they belong to you. Amen. You see, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. You see, I pray for them. Mm -hmm. I do not pray for the world, mm -hmm. but for those you gave me, you gave but me. they belong to you. That's right. Yeah, and, yeah those who belong to me, those who gave it to me, which means <laughs> it's by choice. If you decided that you gave your life to, to our Lord Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, you are for Him. And those who want He's praying for them, and He's still praying for them now. I'm, I, 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 I don't understand why people, they get confused with the things of God. And with the, they, they make it a, it's a trouble when Jesus Christ said, um, that one says, I and you, or I and you, are this, we are one. They get so confused about that sentence that why Jesus Christ wants him to be like God. And you, if you want him to be like God, so, what is the problem that they will hate him? They, they hate the truth. They hate to have this peace for the things of God. So if he said that, and he, he went to be with the Lord the way it is, and he came as it was. So why are we getting confused and hate him because of what the sentence he said? And they will say, um, for us Christians, they, they want to, sometimes when they, they, they want to insult us, they say, for us Christians, we say that Jesus Christ is, is God. But if, uh, 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 even him, he did not say that, yes. Why? Because we twist the scripture. I always say the things of God is better to understand or you understand them if you're in the spirit. Even if it's the Bible, you read the Bible as a novel, you're not going to get anything. You have to pray and, and pray and ask God to reveal things that you want to reveal and talk to him. We're going to talk to you through the word, through, through his word, and so that you can understand it. It didn't he say that he gave, if you ask for wisdom, I will give it to you. If you ask for wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, you will understand the things of God. You are not going to narrate it how people they said or what you have taught or what those false again they have teach you. You will understand it better. Why they deprive other churches? They deprive you to read your own, to have your Bible. Why? Because they don't want you to have the truth, or they don't want you to know the truth. 
if you they allow you to read it to, to read yourself, you will understand the big things that you, you, you is is there, and you we all need them. Hmm. And Jesus was saying, "Glorify me, Father, so that I can glorify you." Uh, for you granted him authority over all that he might give eternal life to all those who have given him. Now this is eternal life that they know you, the only true God and Jesus Christ, whom you have sent. We are talking about that he was here for a purpose. He didn't just randomly come here. Even as we did not choose to be here, we don't even know where we were. We were and what will have happened if we're not born. So since we are born, what our purpose in this planet Earth? Is that to come and insult God? Or is God to come and insult Christ? No, there's a purpose for it. I mean, when I'm in my own world, I will say, Father, if in heaven was by choice that you are in heaven by choice and you become an angel day when we worship you so if there was a choice i would have chose not for me to come into this land or to this world i would have chose to be with you and worship you there then all those things that the things that is happening i would have not seen them and some of them, even they can even derail you to have a good relationship with God. I do not want to see those ones if there was a choice. Um, if there's a choice that, you, you know what, you don't come as a baby as we don't know how we came here. Uh, 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 so, and God knows. <laughs> so, um, I would have, if there's another planet, maybe we have choice. But do you want to be in Scarborough or do you want to be in, in Brampton? We have the choice. We all know Brampton. We all know about Scarborough. So if the choice, I know you sis will say, with me, I'll stay in Scarborough. Why? Because we live in Scarborough before. I live in Scarborough before and I live in Brampton before. But if there's anyhow, any way I can still go back to Brampton, I'll go to Brampton. Why? Because I live there. If I would have not lived in Brampton before, I would say, no, there's no way I can live in Brampton. I will live in Scarborough because I live in both. But for you, you live in Scarborough, you live downtown. So that's the kind of the, your territory. You are comfortable in that territory. So it's the same thing if it's heaven and hell. So if you have glimpsed hell before and God take you out and you are now in heaven or in paradise, I believe you will choose paradise, not hell. So if I'm in my mystery, I said, you know what, God, if uh, there was a choice and I know how and I have a choice to choose, I would have choose to stay or to remain in heaven to worship in spirit and truth and not to come and see this contamination thing. Because it's too much, it's contamination. It's filthy. Uh -huh. What about first Peter? <laughs> Where is this? Um first Peter 318. That's right. Just go ahead, my boy. For Christ died for sins once and for all, a good man on behalf of sinners, in order to lead you to God. He was put to death physically, but made alive spiritually. Amen. Amen. He was put to death physically, but he made life spiritually, which means now oh. the spirit. We were and now going back to the 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 question that when we when this discussion that we had that I was saying we don't know how old is God, so the things that is in the spirit it doesn't get old, but the things in the physical get old. That's why when as we are in the physical, that's why when we get old you die, you die. Why? Because you are old. But for God, because it's a spirit, it doesn't it doesn't get old and doesn't die. And again, even if you die in the physically, in the spirit, you will live forever. That's why they say we have to make sure that we make it here in the physical so that when we are now uh, transformed in the spirit, then we'll have a good life. Oh. What about First Peter, some 2 2? 
Be like newborn babies, always thirsty for the pure spiritual milk, so that by drinking it, you may grow up and be saved. Amen. Amen. Be like a baby. In uh, in NLT and I mean national in in international version say like like newborn babies drink pure spiritual milk so that by it you may grow up in your salvation. If we become like the babies, then we'll be uh we'll be in the right track. I saw this this mother with a little baby and I think the baby was six months. And the baby needed milk. And the mother was trying to open the bottle and he, she couldn't be able to, so I think she tried in that. And the baby is making, uh, like, uh, uh, making her legs like, she's moving her legs like she really wanted. Then I said, wow, to the mother. You mean he, he understands that is, uh, you are preparing for him? He said, yeah, he understands. So he's hungry or want milk. And he wanted so much, so much. Like if he was talking, he would say, "Mommy, what do you do? What do you slow? What, what what delay you not to give me milk?" But the way he was doing it, we can tell that he said, "Mommy, bring me, give me that milk, give me that milk so quickly." And he was not, he was not crying. Then I said, "Wow, this is so good." I mean, this, this child is so mature. He knows that, this, that the mother is working on something, but it's not happening. And he really wants it right away. So if we can become like children or like babies that we don't understand things, and we become like a, a, a newborn and want to understand the things of God and ask God to reveal himself or reveal things to us, the secret, then we will be in the right track. We won't call or won't feel like we are matured enough that we are matured even more than God. Uh -huh. And we won't be thinking that we are smart and we are smart than Christ. No, we'll humble ourselves because he's the only one that can nourish us. Where uh -huh. are, we, are we in Romans or Revelation? Revelation. Go ahead, my beautiful one. So we did, remember we did, um, that we did Roman already. Oh, yeah, Romans, it was Romans 5. So the one that I have is Romans 10. Right, this is not what you have. I only have one Roman, and that's the one I read. I have Romans um, 10, 6. Oh, nice. And that's the one I read before, remember? Okay, let me, let me see. Yeah, let's do Revelation 21, 6. Hmm. And he said, it is done. I am the first and the last, the beginning and the end. To anyone who is thirsty, I will give the right to drink from the spring of the spring of the water of life, without pain for it. Amen. Amen. And he also said, "It is finished. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. To all who are thirsty, I will give freely from the spring of water of life." Why is always be free in this of God? Why is free that I, I, I will sell it to you this and you will buy this from me? It's always free. It's always free. Why is always free? Because God is love, right? When we read, when we read uh, um, John 3, 16, he said, for God so loved the world well. So that's the love that we have. If we can be like him, or we can ask, and he shall be given it to us. To us. And it's freely, this spring, this spring water is freely uh -huh. given. This peace is freely given. This wisdom, knowledge, and understanding is freely given. Let's say everything about God is free. Uh -huh. He created us free. He didn't sell us to our parents. No, even up to now. They carry us, he put us there, and oh. they, 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 he makes sure that we, we are born safely and our parents are taking care of us. And he provides, no matter how poverty it is, the baby will have milk and they will grow. Let's have go the only if you can see the Romans chapter 10, my beautiful money. I know you were in Romans 9, it might be close, you still have your highlighter there. 
What Romans you want me to read? Romans chapter 10, verse 9. Romans 9, 10. Chapter 10, verse 9. If you confess that Jesus is Lord and believe that God raised him from death, you will be saved. Amen. 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 And New Living Translation say, if you openly declare that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart, we talk about the heart, that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. If you believe in your heart is by faith, then you'll be saved. What about John 10, uh, 10, 10, 6? Romans 10, just now, then I just So John 10, 10, 6. That's not good. Okay. The thief come only in order to steal, kill, and destroy. I have come in order that you might have life. Life is all is in all its fullness. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. So that is the purpose of Jesus Christ to be here. Because he, he didn't want us to be stolen or he didn't want the, 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 those killing and stuff and lying and all those kind of things to continue. He came here to give us life, oh. not to give us the things that you will, will, will perish or to not to come and steal. So the one that is stealing and destroying, that's the one that we get confused and easy to, to please him. May God help us. What about First Timothy chapter 2, verse 5, this the last one? For there is one God, and there is one who brings God and human beings together, the man Christ Jesus. Amen. Amen. There is one, what is? He said there's one for, what? For there is one God, and there is one who brings God and human beings together, the man Christ Jesus. Amen. Amen. And NIV says, uh, New International Bible say, for there is one God and one mediator between God and mankind, the man Christ Jesus. He is our mediator between us and God. And New mm -hmm. Living Translation says, for there is one God and one mediator who can reconcile God and humanity, the man Christ Jesus. And English Standard Version, it says, for there is one God and there is one mediator between God and man, the man Christ Jesus. For there is one God and there is one mediator between God and man, the man Christ Jesus. And uh, King James said, for there is one God and one mediator between God and man, the man Christ Jesus. Did he say Lucifer here? No, he didn't say Lucifer. Did he say uh, whoever name that we don't know? No, he didn't say that. He said, for there is one God and one mediator also between God and men, the man Christ Jesus. He is the only one, the uh -huh. man Christ Jesus. He is our mediator between God. And we cannot say we love God and we hate him. Then it's a contradiction. And the Bible says again, you shall not say you love God and you don't love the person that you know and it's your neighbor when you see them, then that will be a lie. So if you love God, love your neighbor. Uh, you know, uh, the things that we're struggling with is the same thing like uh, forgive, your, uh, uh, forgive, forgive your enemies and pray for them. How much we struggle with that? We struggle with it. Even when I say I was praying for those people the other day, I pray for them by, by my heart inside because I'm a human being. It's so broken like I, I don't have to pray for them. 
why they cannot pray for themselves and God deliver them? And why are they allowing in a human form now? Why are the fiscal? Why are they, are they allowing the evil one to use them? Because I know that we pray hard for, for God to help us not to fall into those stuff or to be evil. So why they cannot pray? But you know what? Uh, it's by the grace. So if, the, uh, if God has given us his grace, then we have to pray for our brothers and sisters because they're suffering and they need us. Why? Because we have seen light before they see it. So if we have seen the light that we have, it's our duty to pray for them. It's the same thing with our brothers and sisters that are still in Egypt. It's our duty to pray for them. Because if we cannot pray for them, then they will perish and uh, it's in our hand because we have seen the light. But it's by God's mercy that we have seen the light first. So if you've seen the light first, then it's our duty to pray for them so that they can see the light. It's a tough task. Trust me, it's a hard one. But we have what to- they see the light and they don't want to come out. That, that's, a, that's the thing. You do what you mm -hmm. want to do, and God will do the rest. You'll do what will do what a man can do, and God will do what God does. At least you 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 you've done your assignment. To God be the glory. Amen. Amen. Let's um uh, go to the um to the um, what do you call the salvation prayer. I also say salvation prayer is between we, we hear the, the, the scripture said there is only one man who is there's no there's only one mediator who mediates between us and God. So if we don't have that one, Jesus Christ as is the mediator, then it's going to be a problem. You cannot just think that you will go and uh, uh, and make it with God because um because you you believe that god is the only the only one that you can relate to no god christ has been in between that's why he came and talked to us about christ oh god so if you want christ you give your life to him, to him in jesus name Yeah, oh. lord jesus i know that i'm a sinner Hello. and I'm I I believe that Jesus Christ came and died for me on the cross of Calvary so that my sins can be wiped away. I, I accept Jesus Christ as my Lord and personal Savior. But the, be the Lord over my life. I promise to save you forever and ever in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, the Son of the True God. Amen. May you close my prayers. Thank you, Lord, Father God. Father God, thank you for your word, Lord, Father God. Thank you for that blueprint that you left for us to follow, Lord, Father God. Father God, we ask you, Lord, to help us to maintain it, Lord, Father God because we cannot maintain it without you, Lord, Father God. We bless your holy name, Lord, Father God. Father God, thank you. You say for us to pray for our enemies, Lord, Father God. We thank you for your word, Lord. But Father God, it is so hard. Would you try, you'll be praying for somebody who want to hurt you, praying for somebody who want to destroy you, Lord, Father God. But you are God. You know and you see all things, Lord, Father God. You are in charge, Lord. We bless your holy name. And we know that you will do the right thing, Lord, Father God, because you is God you and you are love, Lord. You have that agape love for us. We thank you, Lord, Father God. We bless your holy name, Lord, Father God. Thank you for your servant. Thank you for your word, Lord, Father God. Fill her cup up more, Lord, Father God. We bless your holy name, Lord, Father God. Father God, and as we're going into another week, Lord, Father God, we ask you to be with us, Lord. Clear the way, Lord and Father. Anything that is not of you, we ask you to remove it, Lord, Father God. Thank you for your word, Lord. Thank you, Father God. Thank you for that blueprint that you left for us to follow in your footsteps. If we have to be saved, Lord, Father God. Continue, Lord, to guide us, protect us, 
Give us more knowledge, wisdom, and understanding, Lord, Father God. Father God, sometimes I can't comprehend, Lord, Father God, because what is going on wrong, Lord, Father God, is just too much, Lord, Father God. We bless your holy name and taking your name and putting it in it, Lord, Father God. Father God, we ask you, Lord, to guide and protect each and every one, even them, Lord, Father God. We bless your holy name, Lord, and we thank you in Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Well, Heavenly Father, we just want to thank you, Father, for such a time as this. Father, we have done your assignment here, glory. We bless your name, Father. We thank you, Father, because you are in the throne of grace and you are with us. You are in our midst, care of glory. We glorify your name. That we thank you, Father, for everything. We thank you, Father, as we're going to be, begin a new week. We ask you, Father, to be with us and guide us wherever we go, wherever our children go, wherever our husband, our friends go, our, our grandchildren go. Father, be with them in Jesus' mighty name. Yeah, I just want to thank you, Father, for a woman of God. And I said, Father, she started the tour again, my Lord. And I said, Father, let your will be done. Protect her, Jehovah, in everything in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the true God, in Jesus' name. And I know that, Father, Canada is one of them. Father, we bless your name, Father, for her coming here. And we ask you, Jehovah, to glorify your name, O Lord, Jehovah, in the name of Jesus Christ, and to protect her, Father, in Jesus' mighty name. Then we thank you, we honor you, bless your name. And whatever she is going, O Lord, Father, Father, have mercy uh, upon upon her life, O oh Lord Jehovah, and protect her, Jehovah, in Jesus' mighty name. May the troubled mercies be her portion, O oh Lord Jehovah, whether in the form of any kind of transportation, or oh Father. May the troubled mercies be that portion, O oh Lord, because she's not alone in that in this trip. And I say, Father, even the crew, O oh Lord. Protect them, Jehovah, in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the Children God. Surround them, Father, with the love and the, the, the love and the protection and the shield of the, the Holy Ghost in Jesus' mighty name. Lady, I thank you, Father, for my brother Carlton. And I know that, Father, you see everything, Lord Jehovah, in Jesus' mighty name. Father, may you reveal yourself to my brother again, Jehovah, in the name of Jesus. May you take, may you do whatever God do, O oh Lord in somebody's life as more special when you are praying oh lord jehovah you said in matthew chapter 7 7 he said if we ask it shall be given to us if we knock will the door will be open for us but i'm knocking that door and i'm asking you father on behalf of my brother carlton jehovah and i say father see him through oh lord jehovah we know that there's a lot of temptation we know there's a lot of trial and i said father maybe the time of overcoming the trial. Jonah went in a, door, a wrong direction. Father, you derail him, Father, because you 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 show him that you are God. He cannot ask you to go to Nineveh or you, you go to Africa and you go to France. That's completely opposite thing. And I say, Father, I dedicate my brother's life into your hand. And I say, Father, your will be done. You see, Mom, accordingly, O Lord, and we see me as we wish, O Lord Jehovah, in Jesus' mighty name. Then we thank you, we honor you, we bless your name, King of Glory. Let your name be that Lord, Father, King of Glory, in the name of Jesus. Those who are mourning, Father, comfort them, Father. The Bible says you comfort those who, who, who are mourning. And I say, Father, I reveal yourself to them in Jesus' mighty name. Thank, thank you, Father, for what you're going to do. Thank you, Father, for the any, any season. We thank you, Father, for the members of this ministry. And I say, Father, cover each and every one of them in your precious blood, including Sister Nicole and her family, Jehovah. Protect them, King of glory, in the name of Jesus. Let your will be done in their life, Jehovah, in Jesus' name. I thank you, Father, for Sister Christy. And I thank you, Father, for Sister Monica, Lord, Jehovah. And I say, Father, that life is in your hand. And I say, Father, those are the people that you made us to link with them. Whether we separated or whether we're still in the good times or bad times, Father, you said we have to pray for them. Father, I pray for each and every one that who have offended us, everyone that they have deceived us, everyone that they have done something wrong or tried to destroy us. Father, let your will be done, King of Glory, in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the true God. If it's in case of for us to 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 ask for forgiveness, Lord Jehovah, if we have done wrong, forgive us. If we don't, if we do not do anything wrong, Lord Jehovah, let your will be done. You are the righteous judge, my Lord. You will judge on our behalf, your glory in Jesus' mighty name. May you give us strength and may you make us bold, of Father, like a lion, oh Lord, more than even a lion, King of glory in Jesus' name. That we thank you, that we honor you. Bless your name, Father, in everything. And everything that you will do in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Father. And your disciples ask you, teacher, 
teach us how to pray and say pray like this our father who art in heaven yes, hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come and that will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us as you forgive those who trespasses against us and deliver us from all evil for thy is the kingdom and the glory forever and ever in jesus name may the grace of our lord jesus christ and the love of god and the fellowship of the holy spirit be with us all surely goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives and we shall dwell in the house of the lord forever and evermore in jesus mighty name amen, amen. love you my beautiful one we'll talk later go and take a nap